So normally it isn't recommended that you use power tools to build IKEA furniture simply because the power tool normally is too strong and what happens is if you, for example, use a drill to put in like a little screw, it sometimes goes too far and it digs into the wood. So this video is to show you a simple way to set up your power tools so that it's safe to use with uh, IKEA furniture. Okay, so when you can actually save yourself a lot of time by using power tools if you set them up correctly. And a lot of us have these power drills, but we don't necessarily know how to use them. Um, and there's one setting that you should know how to use. And you see these numbers here? Basically, this is like, uh, like a clutch. And what it does is if you set it, for example, right now I have it set to one. So that's like the, the lowest uh, strength, I guess you could say. So when I put this little screw into this hole, as soon as the screw's all the way in and it starts to give me a little bit of resistance, this is actually gonna disengage. And it won't allow me to put in that screw any further in and it won't allow me to damage uh, the wood here or the finish okay so let me show you what I mean and um, you will definitely know that this has engaged because you'll hear that like that kind of sound okay that means that it's no longer that this is no longer spinning okay so you're gonna be safe so let me show you what I mean right now I have this set to number one and I'm gonna put the screw in the hole and you're gonna hear that it's going to disengage as soon as that screw is in You hear that? That means that that was no longer spinning and that screw is now perfectly in that hole without being overdriven. For example, if I had set this on like a higher setting, okay, that screw would have bore all the way into that wood and gone way too deep. Or for example, if I had set this all the way, see that? That setting over here this thing would not even have disengaged. This, this means like this is the hardest setting. This is for drilling. So this thing will not have backed off. That's like full force. Okay, so IKEA furniture, you're going to like setting number one. That way you will never overdo it and it'll just be like using your hands. See, sometimes it'll say like, don't use a hammer, but you can use a rubber mallet just like that. And then normally a rubber mallet is heavy but it's not really that hard where it won't cause big dings and dents into this particle board. So for example, to drive these things in, even though you can do them by hand, uh, you can do it a little quicker and easier with a mallet. See? I hope this video helps and I hope while you're building your IKEA stuff, that this saves you a lot of time. I know it saved me a lot of time. Um, so please give this video a like and give me your comments below. Thank you very much.